Oh shit. <laughs> I just watched a dream die. Hey, it's Patrick. I'm here in Clinton, Ontario, standing on what is probably normally used for horse racing, but today it's been turned into a drone racetrack, which uh, is a pretty crazy idea. There's a bunch of guys here with flying robots. They are connected to them through VR goggles that allow them to see through the drone's camera, and they race. There's a lot of crashes. Uh, it gets pretty intense. I'm going to try and race a drone myself. I'm probably going to be pretty terrible at it, but we're going to talk to some of these guys and see why they came all the way out here to the middle of nowhere to play with robots. So I'm here with Ryan, who's a drone racer all the way from Manhattan, and we're standing right on the track. Yes. The last time we saw Ryan was in the Bronx, New York, where he showed us the basics of FPV drone racing. When you're with somebody in the air, it's like Star Wars. Now he's here in the big leagues of rural Ontario to test his skills. A drone racetrack is a fairly new idea, right? Yeah. This is, a, uh, this is probably one of the first FPV drone tracks, um, and we're standing in front of a gate. Uh, drone tracks are 3D, they're not 2D, so they're right. up, down, left, right. So this, this gate is actually wired up, right? Yeah, each, each FPV quad has a little transponder in it, and when you go through it, tracks your time per lap. Oh, that's crazy. So if you go over it or around it, that doesn't count. Right, and the gate's a pretty stressful moment in the course. When you're coming around a corner really fast and you have to go under it, yeah. you get a little nervous. I'm here with Daniel, who just graciously let me borrow his VR goggles. And uh, one of the really cool things about this is you got a channel changer on there, so you can throw this on and watch all the different drones from their perspective. Yeah, you can watch up to about seven or eight other video signals at the same time. So while the race is going on, you can click through, find the clearest channel, yeah. and watch it as if you're the pilot. I noticed some of the signals would be pretty clear, and then the other ones were like being inside of like a, like a glitchy cartoon or something. Is, are the racers seeing some of those There's, bad that's signals a, That's too? exactly what they're seeing. Yeah. You'll be going through, and all of a sudden, it's all very blurry for a second, but yeah. you just fly through it, knowing that it's going to clear up. Yeah. And it's just the metal work in this venue. It's all just bouncing off the metal. So as you move past, it clears up. I was also advised to be sitting down, yeah. uh, when I, which I didn't, but I definitely felt a little bit of like, oh yeah, feeling kind of pukey for sure. It's even more impressive when you're flying and then you see someone coming straight at you and right. you think you're about to have a collision and then you realize, wait a minute, yeah. I'm sitting on the ground here. <laughs> yeah, this is, but, I'm just watching a robot. But you but catch your breath <laughs> when yeah. that happens. And my favorite part is watching a crash. Yeah, well, it's not so much fun when you have to go and inspect the damage. But yeah, yeah. It's really I guess neat. I have no horse in the race. You just raced. Yes. And why don't you tell me what happened? How did that go? Well, I have a lap record. Yeah. Which is really important. There's two different styles to racing. So you can go through really fast, as fast as you can go. Yeah. And get a lap record. Yeah. Or you can play it smart and have a little bit more endurance. Right. I have not finished a race yet. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were racing real aggressively, I thought. I right. Thought. Yeah. And that's the fun of it. Yeah. You get to bang around real fast. Of course. But then you kind of run into stuff. Right. You hit one of those uh, flagpoles, right? Yes. How does it feel when you when you're when you crash? It's upsetting because you're done. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. You know, and you always break a prop, and that's kind of like when you say break a prop, like a propeller. Yeah. Props are like. They're kind of like these indispensable little things in the sport. You know, you run through them. I already ran through 20. Right. You break them like fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of repairing to this whole thing. Like, do you bring like a whole kit of extra parts when you do this? Yeah, it's sad. I got screwdrivers, I have little tiny clippers, I have uh, fingernail clippers, I have hot glue, I have regular glue. Amazing. You gotta make it happen. You gotta stay in the air. You have to expect that during the course of racing when you crash, something's going to break and that will be the part you didn't bring with. So how much of this competition is like troubleshooting and like doing your own tech support? Improvisation, yeah. absolutely all of it. Um, this is from the dollar store, it's a sandwich container. Okay. That's a piece of a golf club shaft. <laughs> These are towel racks. Wow. You came all the way up from Ohio? Yep. And you're going to show me how to drone race? Yes, I'm going to show you. Okay. What am I working with here? Uh, that's a Blade Nano QX FPV. It's a good starter quad. You yeah. can bang it in anything you want. Yeah, it doesn't look like it do a lot of damage. No, not at all. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, controllers in your hand. Oh, uh, it's going great. <laughs> Super well. <laughs> Hey 
getting pretty high up yeah. there. Oh, oh, we hit the rafters. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go yeah, grab just it. slammed right up into the rafters. I had no sense of where I was going at all. Oh, I'm in someone's hand now. Shit. <laughs> all right, you ready? You want to try again? I'll do one more, yeah. How long did it take you to get to it? I wouldn't say I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there, oh, you, there go. you go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pause for the bare minimum <laughs> movements. Okay, got over that thing. Uh, Did you crash? Are you upside down? Oh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe one day I'll graduate to like a you know predator drone. Yeah, we'll talk about that sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, great. I'd love to ride for you guys professionally. I think I got what it takes. We'll see. All right, man. Thank Thanks. you.